raising awareness on the causes, dangers, early detections, what to do when one has seizures. For 12 years, the founder of Angie Epilepsy Foundation, Angela Semuta, and her team have been marking Popo Day with a road work to sensitize members of the society on the need not to stigmatize sufferers. The 2023 Popo Day Road Work, which kicked off from St. Paul's Catholic Church, Airport Road, Benin City, took members to Airport Road above Ramen Square to create awareness on the disease of epilepsy, which they say is not a death sentence nor contagious. To care for people who are suffering from epilepsy, to know that epilepsy is not a death sentence. There are medications to regulate it that People suffering from epilepsy can live quality, a good quality of life like every other person. The Angie Epilepsy Foundation also took the sensitization work through Forestry, Bakbava Street, Donson and Mission Road, sharing handbills to create awareness to members of the public not to stigmatize epilepsy sufferers. Hey! He don't go! He de get confusion! He de get confusion! I don't go free fire! They could not go free school food for a month! Raise the head up, turn up to his side, remove the glasses, so make you live and make you rest. <laughs> The Dean of Benin Denary Catholic Church, Reverend Father Edwin Omogwe, the President Angie Epilepsy Foundation, and others say the yearly event is to sensitize people on the reality of the disease. We want people to know and not to forget that persons who are diagnosed with epilepsy can live normal life. That epilepsy is not a death sentence. You can live normal life when you go to the hospital for your treatment and you stick to your medication. Those living with epilepsy, they can move forward. Because me, who is standing here, I am suffering epilepsy and I am still determined to move on. They can do anything to keep the body and soul going that every normal human being does. Instead of keeping them at home, leaving them at home. Epilepsy, also known as seizure disorder, may occur as a result of genetic disorder or an acquired brain injury, such as a trauma or stroke, and can be managed. Deborah Ubefun reporting.